I have a scanning project today, get hired by uh, McDonald's to scan their building. Uh, they are making a new restaurant. Location is in Pattaya, about uh, 200 kilometers from here. I use my uh, LiDAR scanner. It's all packed in this bag here. I have a LiDAR unit here, the computers, two batteries, and cable, handle, and the charger. Uh, this is all I need for scanning the building. Before this, I use a uh, total station and I need to pack a lot of gear and it takes like a few days to completely survey one building but uh, with the scanner it's uh, much faster now This is the job site uh, I have to scan the facade here and also the inside of the building This used to be a coffee shop and uh, McDonald's, they going to uh, renovate it into the restaurant. Uh, the building has two floors. I will scan each floor separately, and then I will combine it later in the software. Pattaya Beach is right over there. Uh, this is the part where I uh, changing the room. I need to walk backward so that the scanner can see what it has seen before. And then I need to slowly turn in a different angle so it can see both rooms at the same time. This scanner can see 270 degrees of angle so it can also see what's behind uh, the scanner well when scanning a small room like this toilet i do not need to enter the room i just stick my hand inside if i suddenly move into a small room like this toilet here um, the scanner will lose the visual of a larger room and it will uh, uh, align uh, the walls incorrectly there are too many people in this room actually there shouldn't be anyone here because the uh, moving objects can cause the error. This hallway will be my overlapping area so that I will align uh, the first scan and the second scan with this hallway. I'm walking back to the starting point to close the loop which is uh, necessary for slam scanner. All the accumulative error causing by the drifting distance will be correct in this process. Now the scanner will see the first image that it sees when starting. So it's now this is the starting point and it will do some error correction inside of the software. This is the second scan. I'm going to scan the outside of the building. Actually, I can do a continuous scan, but I can't keep the electric door open, so I need to scan it separately. Walking backward when scanning is very common when using slam scanner. Uh, 
you can notice that there is a green dot on the mobile phone display this indicate the quality of the tracking of the scanner if it turn orange or turn red color it means that the scanner start to lose the track and I need to slow down or do a track back uh, to the previous position Same as before, I'm moving back to the starting point to complete the scan. Yeah, this is my uh, third scan and this will be my final scan on the second floor. Same as before, I'm walking out the door in a backward position. I'm sticking my hand outside of the handrail so that the scanner can see some of the wall and the objects below. The scanner already have the information of the room that has been scanned so it can just walk right in. Now I'm going to enter the larger room here. Before that I need to stick the scanner inside the room just a bit to let it see some of the walls before I do the backward walking into the room. If I uh, do like this, I will get the good scan result. When I'm walking out of the room, I also walk in a backward position. Uh, there is a small balcony outside that I also need to scan. Now I'm going to complete the loop. Here's the scanning result in the cloud compare. After the point cloud processing, uh, I combine the three scan together seamlessly all the uh, light light poles the wiring also visible so the architect can decide how uh, would they design their the facade i can make uh, this is a ground floor section and this will be a second floor section I can do a section along the length and you can see the floor to floor distance and this will be a um, section along the width and this will be another section along the width I import the point cloud into the CAD inventor and I can trace and draw the whole building in a CAD format and then I export in, uh, in different uh, other software.
is a uh, plans drawing and all the sections that uh, create automatically.